Hi everyone, welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center, along with Braden Barker and Xavier Merlino. And I'm Davis. CPS Sports compiled its list of the 100 best NFL players in 2023. And no surprise who came out on top, Patrick Mahomes, who was a clear top choice, fresh off his second Super Bowl win, two regular season MVPs in the past five seasons. At least 27 years old, Mahomes is the best controversial player, controversial and debatable player in the NFL. The Bill of Josh Allen came in second, and Joe Burrow on the Bengals was number three. Last year's number one player, Rams defensive tackle Aaron Donald, slipped into the ninth spot. One of the big question marks entering the upcoming NBA season centers around John Morant. The Memphis Grizzlies all-star guard will start the season with um, serving a minimum of 25-game suspension for his off-the-court behavior. The suspension could exceed 25 games if he does not meet with the certain conditions. Morant will be ineligible for any team activities during his suspension. The, Griz- the Grizzlies have responded well to Mar- Morant's senses in the past. Morant went 11-10 and 10 without Morant last season, but in the 2021-2022 season, they went 20-5 and 5 when Morant was not able to play. The college football season is fast approaching with seven games scheduled for week zero on August 26th, including two major programs, Notre Dame and USC opening their season early. The Fighting Irish faced Navy in Dublin, Ireland for the first time since 2012. And Southern Cal host San Jose so both USC and Notre Dame are expected to be in college football playoff chase this coming season, especially after quarterback Sam Hartman transferred to Notre Dame and USC has, def- has defending Heisman Trophy winner Caleb Williams returning. Most college football teams began their season in the first week of September for the traditional week one schedule. Major League Baseball is enjoying an attendance resurgence with internal projections pointing to a full season attendance increase of 6-8%. That is encouraging news for MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred, who says 22 of 30 MLB clubs are currently up in attendance. A year ago, the MLB experienced the worst attendance since 1997. Manfred points out that there has been a strong fan reception to the pitch clock, larger bases, and a ban on extreme defensive shifts. Since adding the pitch clock in April, the average MLB game is 26 minutes shorter than in 2022. MLB games have not been this short in 40 years. The United States women's soccer team goes for 3 P at this women's, at the summer's Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. The U.S. women captured the title in 2019 and 2015. England and the European champion is also one of the top contenders. This year's field is largest ever with 32 teams competing, compared to 24 in previous tournaments. More than 1 billion people around the world will be watching the competition. When the United States beat the Netherlands in 2019 finals, an average of 82.2 million viewers watched worldwide. That's it for Busy Day in Sports for my co-anchors, Brandon Barker and Xavier. And I'm David Stone. Thanks for watching Sports Broadcasting Center.